Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Inferno Paterno. How are you guys doing today? And welcome back to another Terradrome guide. And today I'm going to be giving you a guide to Sasquatch, alright? I'm going to be showing you guys some, yeah, some good combo potential, some good mix-up potential, and some really good mind games with the special moves as well. So I'm going to be showing you guys some of that. And um, you guys really liked the last video. Like, just in the day, I already saw the amount of support that you guys gave it. And I just want to say thank you so much for all that support. I really appreciate it, and I will for sure make some more Terra Drum videos if you guys want. And all right, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, now starting off with the strings or the combo strings, we have the punch, punch, you know, medium or the PPM. But here's the thing, you know, I, um, I don't know if there's like a little developer's problem, but you can't do punch, punch. So it's actually punch, medium, punch. All right, as you can see, it's PMP. I'm gonna call, let me show you one more time. It's PMP. And you know, just like the other string that Neverman has, uh, look how fast. Look how fast the punch comes out. It comes out super fast, and it's really good for if someone's super close to you, and you don't really have much time to think, and you just want to mash something out. It is perfect for a quick little string, you know what I'm saying? All right, the next combo string we are going into is going to be the combo string 2, which is SS or Special Special, and this one is really, really good. And here is why. Here's what it looks like. You saw that? That was a bounce up. That was a bounce off the wall for an extra combo. And what you can actually do, if you're a masher like I am, you can do SS into SS again. Look. Just mash that hoe. Boom! And then get an OTG up in there. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty freaking amazing right there. And I'm going to be showing you guys some other options that you can do. But I'll show you that when we get into the special moves. All right? All right. Now going on to the OTGs. He has many different OTGs. But uh, I'm going to be showing you off the first one. This is the down special. As you can see, it hits on the ground. You have to. You have to it's kind of like a... There you go. It's got good reach. But you kind of got to be a little far. It won't work if you're too close. But it's a pretty good OTG. And the other OTG is going to be a stomp. Like that. Look. Wait, I'll show you right here. There you go. There's the stomp as the OTG. It's pretty good. You can even EX it for like a bounce up, I believe. But we'll get into that once we have the special move. Going on to the special moves. We have the Feral Spin. Okay. And that Feral Spin is... Uh, it is back down forward special back down forward special and here's what it looks like right there and the thing that's good about this one is it actually hits low as you can see it's a low hitter so if you wanted to do some mix-up type things you could do the special into it like this make up think it's an overhead and you can go into a low it's pretty freaking good actually yeah. not only is it that good but it adds some extra damage into your combo which is always helpful now we're going to be going into the wild stomp, which is the forward, forward down back kick. And that is what I showed you as the OTG. Here's what it looks like right there. Just, you know, stomping on a man, fudging. Ah! There you go. There's an example of a combo that you could do a five hit combo. It's pretty freaking good. You know, basically what I did was I did the modified stomp into the uh, S special special into another special special. Or you could do the special into the spin that I just showed earlier. Oh, by the way, when you modify the spin, it just adds an extra hit for some extra damage like this. See, it just adds some extra, it adds an extra uh, third hit. So it's pretty good. Now I'm going to be going into the move called the Backbreaker, which is um, Forward Down Back Special. And the, the Backbreaker is really good. The reason why it's really good is because it's good for corner pressure because it is a command grab. And as you can see, here's what it looks like. Look at that. Look how much damage that did. I did a good amount of damage too. Oh, look at that again. Hi. Dang, that's some good damage, I bet. And here's what it looks like modified. Oh. Oh! And you can extend it for a combo. Okay, so even when you freaking modify it, you can extend it for a combo and get some extra freaking damage with the special special or maybe some special into the um, spin. All right, next I'm going to be going into the invisibility move, which is down, down, punch. And here's what it looks like. And you're invisible. So, basically, you're invisible for a good while. I mean, look, you can even just do a combo real quick. I mean, while you're invisible, it's pretty freaking nasty. I can't even see myself right now. But the problem with this invisibility thing is, is I don't know if you saw, but it's actually really, 
really slow, I believe. Like, the startup is kind of slow to do, and I would only do it if you're far away from your opponent. Like, there's another special move where you could throw rocks, and I'd use that to cover yourself before doing it because it takes a while and you can easily get punished. But I know you're asking or probably thinking, Inferno, how do you become uninvisible? Well, you just get hit. You just get, you just get hit, and you'll become uninvisible. Also, another way to become uninvisible is just doing the same input again, and you'll become uninvisible as well. Now we're going into the rock throw, which is down forward punch, or just quarter circle forward punch. This rock throw is really good, and the reason why this one is really good is because it is used for zoning. Look at that. Just bully him. Just bully him. What is he gonna do? If I try to dash, try and dash in? Nah, dude. This is how you play freaking Sasquatch right here. Also, another thing that you could do with the rock is while throwing it, if you're at a distance, kind of close to him like this, you can actually, you can actually use the stomp. You can use the stomp right after it, so kind of fake him out with that. Maybe even use another special move as well. So the EX, or the modified version of this, is really cool. Look what it does. You throw a boulder at him. And then you can get, a, you can get an OTG, I bet. Look, look, wait. Boom! Get OTG, just do some fancy stuff right there. Alright, and the next move I'm going into is called the Call Eagle, and what the Call Eagle is, it is the helper attack, and the input is, um, quarter circle forward kick, alright, or down forward kick, and alright, and here's what it looks like, as you can see, they're stunned for a very long time, I mean very long time, dude. Look at that. They're stunned for so long. I mean, I know you only have limited uses because it's a helper move, but it's still amazing. I mean, look, you could throw it from here. Look at that. Look at that, man. Are you going against Sasquatch is going to be so annoying because of that eagle move right there. That stun move with the eagle is very, very annoying. And not only can he do that, but he could throw rocks at you. And if he's feeling extra saucy, he'll throw a freaking boulder at you. And then he'll run over, get a little OTG, and you're just, you're done, man. You're done. All right, and next we're going into the last special move, which is the air grab. And I mean, it's it's a uh, forward, down, forward, um, medium, or the M. And it's pretty self-explanatory. It is literally an air grab. As you can see, look, you just, you know, grab them if they jump in the air. But to me, you'd have to have an opponent that is jumping a lot to predict this because I don't know about you but they could do that they could do many jump attacks and cancel you from being able to do it so you really are going to have to read your opponent well for this one because you don't want to mess it up and get punished because there's lots of good combos in this game especially with people like Neverman and you know Sasquatch and you don't want to get punished hard with a big combo like that also, one thing that I want to talk about about Sasquatch that makes him such a unique character at least in my eyes is that um, compared to a lot of the people in um, this game of Terradrome, he has a lot of useful tools. Like, I mean, he can do some damage to you from across the screen. I mean, he doesn't even have to be close to you to fight you. You know what I'm saying? He has the rock. He has the eagle. And not only that, but he has good tools for command grabs and uh, up-close combat as well. So he can really switch up his play style whenever he wants. And that's what, that's what makes him such a viable character to play. There we go. There's a seven hit combo that you can do. That is pretty good. Some pretty good chilling damage, you know what I'm saying? There we go. There's another seven hit chilling combo for you get for you guys. And what that combo is, is it is the back down forward special, which is that move. And right after that, you use the stomp, the modified stomp though, which gives a pop up for you to do a special, 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 special again. You know what I'm saying? Some pretty good stuff right there. Guys, next we're going into the Unleashed moves, and now he actually has two of them, which is really, really good, and you'll see why in just a second. We're starting off with the Psychic Scream, which is quarter circle forward, quarter circle forward special. Here's what that looks like. 
Look at that cheese. Look at that. And the reason why it's so good, I'll tell you right now why it's so good, is because it is a strong move to use from a distance. I mean, look at this. Like I said earlier, he has very good tools for up close and far away combat. Like, look, you can just use that far away, get some good damage. I mean, if they're not expecting it or they use a punishable move from a far distance, it is a great way to punish them without even getting close. Next, we're going into the Beastie Slam, which is quarter circle forward, quarter circle forward, medium. Here's what that looks like. Of course, you have to be close for this one. All right, guys, I am currently having issues inputting this right here. As you can see, it just does the air grab when I do the unleash move, so I can't currently do it. I don't know why. Maybe a bug with the game. Like I said, it's very new. Not a lot of developers. It's, it's a problem. It will be fixed. All right, my boys, don't worry about that. In fact, most people can do it. Maybe I'm just trash at the game and I can't do it, but um, yeah. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, leave a like, share with your friends, and also if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, feel free to subscribe because it would help me out a ton. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Don't let anybody break your stride, and I'll see you guys in the next video.